Hey guys, so uh, Saturday morning here and everybody's talking about chat GPT. So I got it up on the screen for 60 seconds. I just wanted to show you what it can do. If you are an ELA teacher, this is a perfect example. So you could say something like, write me a story for fourth grader. So write me a story for fourth graders. So I'm targeting them uh, about an elephant who has a problem with her environment. Now, uh, while this is loading, here's the deal. You could actually use this to talk to students about story arc. You could use this to talk to students about character and setting, about in, in ecological problems, right? So we could be targeting this across the board. You could tie in that science content of maybe, you know, environmental impact of humans. So here it is. Uh, this thing is coming up live. I'm going to go ahead and tap on uh, the screen so you can get it. Once upon a time, there was an elephant named Ellie who lived in the African savanna. Okay, so, oh, what's that? Hey, with her parents. Ellie was happy elephant, loved her home very much. However, Ellie's home was being threatened by something terrible, humans. All right, people, <laughs> people have been coming through the area and chopping down the trees and bulldozing the land. Not only did this mean that Ellie's friends and family were losing their homes, but it also meant there was less food and water for them. Okay, so check this out super fast. Now you're generating something that you could use on the fly with kids and i'm going to show you that real quick so okay so this one just happened to stop i could copy and paste this into a google doc or i could go back up here and i'm going to copy it again and i'm going to paste it and and we'll see that it's actually going to generate a completely different story i can copy it from my phone paste it into a google doc on my phone and live put that up on the screen so here we go, an elephant named Anne. Uh, she was big, friendly elephant, and enjoyed spending time with her family and friends. One day, Anne noticed something wrong with her environment. The foliage around her was getting thinner, and the water was... Oh, so this one's not about human impact, is it? This one might be about environmental shifts that are natural, right? So, okay, so I just changed it to say, write me a story for fourth graders about an elephant who has a problem with her friends, right? Maybe I want to tag not the environmental side, but I want to tag SEL. I want to talk about that. And so here we go. Once upon a time, there was an elephant who lived in the jungle with all of her best friends. All right, guys. So uh, three really easy ways as an ELA teacher, you could use chatbot um, to just spice up the engagement of your class, bring in some SEL, do some cross-curricular, whatever it might be. And I'm curious, what are you using uh, chatbot for? If you're using it down in the comments, throw that out there. Maybe we can help somebody else. Anyway, get out there. Kick some class. See you next time.